Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. If you are new, then subscribe to this channel because on this channel, I share ideas, insights, tools and tactics. So if you want to grow really fast in the software industry, then uh, subscribe now and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. I graduated from civil engineering in 2020. I'm interested in software industry. I'm currently working as customer support chat process in Amazon. I don't like this job since it does not uh, leave me any time to learn anything in the whole day. I learned front end web development, no projects done, and I'm looking to learn full stack and Python language. M my question continued. Okay, should I quit this job and learn and stay in this and continue learning? Will companies accept me since I'm a civil engineer? Is it possible to pursue MTech in computer science after giving gate? Okay, now I'm going to start with the third uh, third question and uh, maybe you have uh, since gate, since most colleges are asking BTech in computer science as a requirement. Okay, so uh, Sashank, first thing is, uh, should I quit the job and learn or stay in this and continue learning? Okay, now this uh, is a very difficult question to answer. Because you have to make a decision based on, uh, are you comfortable with giving one more year for learning or whatever time you need to become a software programmer? Because if you want to become a software programmer, in the software industry, then you need to know at least one programming language. Now you already mentioned that you are learning a front-end web development. Okay. You did not do project, but you are learning front-end web development. Okay. And now you are looking to learn full stack and Python language. Okay. Now here is my first thing that don't learn too many programming language. Just focus on one thing. If you learn front-end web development and maybe you are learning React or Angular or whatever front-end uh, programming language you are learning, if you do that one thing and using that one thing, you first get a job in a software company. Okay, that is a priority. Instead of trying to learn everything, because no matter how much you learn, you will always feel that you have missed out something and because of that you are not getting a job. So you start looking for a job. Don't quit your job. Okay. It is a very bad idea for anyone to first uh, quit your job in these times because you know the times are such that people are waiting for a job. People don't have a job in hand. Okay. There are so many people who don't have a job. In this scenario, if you have a job, then it is a good thing. <clears throat> also, you have a job in Amazon. So what you can do is you can look at if you go to Amazon Web Services learning path, you have various learning paths in in that Amazon uh, Amazon learning center. You have various learning path in that there is one learning path for Amazon software developer. Okay, so because you are in Amazon, what you can do is you can do the certification or you can learn using the Amazon learning path and then do the certification as a developer through that particular learning center. The advantage of that will be because you are already in Amazon, you will be able to switch within Amazon into software development. Okay. Getting into Amazon is very difficult. Now, since you are already in Amazon, if you do the learning through Amazon's own learning uh, training center and then give some certification exams, which are uh, so the, the there is no cost. The learning is free on Amazon uh, training center. Anybody can do it. But to do a certification, there is an exam, which is a proctored exam. And for that, you'll have to uh, spend some money. 
okay but once you are confident of some programming language or whatever like every day let's say you are uh, you are uh, taking out 2 to 3 hours after work okay if your work is hectic then you have to take out 2 to 3 hours after work and start learning this in your development uh, road map become a software development on amazon itself okay then to switch within amazon will be much easier okay with a with a certification from amazon so that can be your path now you are saying that will companies accept me since i am a civil engineer now you already have a job in uh, in amazon so now you don't have to worry about whether companies will accept you or not if you clearly take this path of development within amazon and then switch within amazon after that you don't have to worry you will become a software development developer who is working with amazon so then your certification of uh, b civil engineering certificate has no meaning okay and amazon is a company which uh, one it it will pay you well as a software engineer also there is a lot of requirement in amazon across the world also if you want to go on site with amazon that is a possibility okay uh, is it possible to pursue mtech in computer science after giving gate i am not sure about this whether you can go from civil engineering to mtech in computer science because uh, mtech is masters in technology it is usually in the same field your core competency which is civil it is in the same field you will be doing masters okay but you can find this out i have no idea about this okay i hope sashank that that answers your question and uh, leaving a job leaving a job and doing something uh, is not a very good idea unless you have a very good idea about what you are going to do okay if it is just going to be experimenting then i would not suggest you to leave the job i would say do a side hustle try to learn programming on the side and then find a job and then switch a job but uh, don't just leave your job and try to because it will bring a lot of frustration when you don't have the job okay second thing is when the money stops coming in that will also be a frustration i hope you enjoyed this live and i have a program how to become a players in the software industry this program is good for everybody who is getting stuck in their career who uh, feel their salary is not improving or they are not getting promotions then that program is really good